Hey guys, it's Andy from the Fantasy Footballers Podcast, yet again here on YouTube, answering some listener questions from the show. Today's question comes in from Joe Tate from Colorado. He says, who do you think could be this year's C.J. Anderson or Jeremy Hill, a.k.a. the running back that was uh, drafted towards the end of the draft and could end up winning championships for the team this year? Has a clear path to the starting running back, that type of player. And number two, the draft... uh, Best available theory. What happens when you find yourself with too many wide receivers or running backs? When do you start balancing your roster? So a two-part question here. First, I'll give you a couple names for that running back position. The first one that jumps into my mind is Joseph Randall. Joseph Randall's being drafted right now in the fifth or sixth round, uh, but he has a clear path to the starting running back position in Dallas, which is the best offensive line in football, and that's because he's the starting running back in Dallas. So he's being underdrafted right now, and until he proves otherwise in camp and preseason, Joseph Randall's a guy that you can possibly grab, get 240, 250 carries, and put up a big season. I don't have a lot of confidence in Darren McFadden, and so uh, Joseph Randall's one of those guys that I say, take a look at. Another guy that comes to mind could be Amir Abdullah out of Detroit. Uh, I believe in Joyke Bell. I think Joyke Bell will be the running back this year, but if for some reason he falters or if he can't perform, Abdullah is hyper talented. That's a very good offense. And he could come in and kind of run away with that starting job to your second question of uh, best available theory. Well, you have to be smart, right? You have to consider all of the options when you're drafting best available. You also need to pay attention to the teams around you, the teams in your league. Uh, what positions do they have filled? Which positions don't they have filled? Uh, you cannot draft the team of all running backs, even if they were all the best available. So you do have to balance your roster. Uh, I think that theory really applies to the early rounds when you are looking at an option between maybe picking up a third running back or a second wide receiver. You need to go with the best player available. Absolutely, 100% of the time. Don't grab a guy just because you have to fill a spot in the early rounds. Your, Your objective in a draft is to draft the best team possible, not to fill your roster as fast as you possibly can. And that's a mistake a lot of new fantasy football players make. They just try to fill their roster and then, oh, okay, I'll fill the bench now. Well, no, don't do that because guys get hurt, guys get injured, guys uh, that you draft, even if they look like they're going to be your running back three, might end up your running back one. Maybe you get a guy like Joseph Randall that we talked about and you grab him in the fifth or sixth round and he's better than somebody you took in the second round, like a Jonathan Stewart or somebody like that. So, Make sure that you are playing with your head. Be smart. Consider the teams around you. Consider the other variables, but uh, also consider the best player available because you don't want to let a hyper-talented guy go just because you want to fill up your tight end or your kicker or your defense, if that makes sense. So if you have a question for the show, go ahead and go to thefantasyfootballers.com. Click the Submit a Question button in the upper right-hand corner. We do our best to answer as many questions as we can, either here on YouTube or on our website. Uh, via the comment section on Twitter, uh, all over the place, especially on the podcast, Fantasy Footballers Podcast on iTunes. So hopefully that helps. Take care.